शुक्लांबरधरम विष्णु पृथ्वीवर्धन चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वजन ध्यात well discussing the brahat parashara hora well evaluating the brahat parashara hora we come across different facts chapter wise we are discussing from first chapter till third chapter we have discussed last week this week we are discussing the fourth chapter onwards the fourth chapter very specifically it has been dedicated for the people to calculate the different planets and the positions in a horoscope here the chapter name is grahadi sadhana it is going to make this puta puta is point blank calculation of the individual planet what actually we do require to evaluate or to make a chart we need for the present day a date of birth time of birth and the place of birth place of birth is the latitude and longitudes from that area how the planets angulations are going to be seen from the earth is being calculated the latitudes and longitudes when we are making it out the position of the planets a matter of small variations of the minutes and seconds are going to be there with here i just wants to show you the easiest method which we are adopting as on today through a software or either the mobile software or the computer softwares here abhishta kala mean always the word abhishta kala word is used for the janana kala or the birth time the mishra kala mana is the word used in the parashara is for the pankti or the dina mana previously when the softwares were not available at the time the planet point blank status is calculated every day at 5:30 am the 5:30 am to 5:30 am of the next day in between the movement which is going to be made in the trairashika paddhati and a point blank calculation is going to be made now this is a very easy on our softwares this pankti is calculated either in the panchanga or otherwise in the ephemeris it is the planetary positions in the degrees minutes and the seconds calculation here we are going to calculate primarily the two things the first one is the lagna sputa already we come across lagnam means the udaya rasi at the time of the birth time or the abhishta kala whatever the degrees position or the minutes and seconds position of the point blank at the horizon is called as the lagna from the lagna sputa we are going to calculate the bhavas there will be 12 rasis we know 12 rasi segments are going to be each and every rasi is of 30 degrees out of the 360 degrees of circular zodiac in the circular zodiac as the 30 degree segment is being called as the rashi from the point of the birth time or the abhishta kala calculated rashi or the position of the zodiac from there the people are going to calculate 30 degrees either of this side there are different methods in it we come across those things the bhava is in irregular from the point of birth time lagna readings of the degrees minutes and the seconds and the same way we have to calculate the chandra sputa position of the moon is the most important the janma lagna lagna kundali the words are used for that of the 
from the Laguna starting point, where we are going to calculate the physical status of the individual. From the Chandra point blank position in the zodiac, we are going to calculate the psychological entities of an individual. The physical and the psychological entities are going to be most important. As the Ayurveda is going to speak the health definition as the physical health, psychological health, spiritual health, social health, and many more are going to be get involved. In the same way, we can observe even in the zodiac cycle and horoscope all these different healths. We are going to make the all the rest of the planets. The planets totally nine, Navagrahas. Out of the Surya and Chandra, the two are said as the Mandala Grahas. These two Grahas are always having a forward motion, never a retrograde motion. The retrograde motion is called as the Vakrata. When we see from the Earth, Sometimes the planets apparently looks like going back, but they are not going back in the, in fact, they are always, all planets are moving the forward only. Because of the changing of the position of the earth and the planet, the angulation in between the earth and the planet, it apparently looks for the calculation as if it is going or moving backwards. That is called as the Vakra Gamanam or the retrogradation of the planet. The rest of the five planets, Buddha, Shukra, Puja, Guru, and Shani, these five planets are said as the Taragraha. We can see with the naked eye in the open sky, these five planets as illuminating and sparkling like stars. The Rahu and Ketu are the Chayagrahas. They are the nodes. In fact, these Chaya Grahas are to be interpreted with the our earth core orbit covering electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic wave are getting started at the pole and this pole starts and it is moving along with and this uh, clockwise planets which are moving as we are calculating. The anti-clockwise are reverse which is Rahu and Ketu are moving. These are said to be the Chaya Grahas. Now, in this fourth chapter, all the calculation of the individual planets through the Thairasika Padati has been done with. Here, I would like to show you in the Brihat Parashara Hora said how to evaluate the horoscope through a software called Parashara Light. Hope you are able to see this particular Parashara light. First opening page. When we are going to see here, we are going to start with a new chart. In the new chart, first we are going to make a name and thereafter a male or a female for the identification and gender and later to that, actually the Ishtakala or the time. Randomly, I just want to have the 3rd October 2020 birth yet at 10, 10 a.m. This time is being given in this software as a 24 hours pattern. The country and the place has to be made for calculation of longitudes and latitudes of the precision position to calculate the planetary positions. Here the state, we can just go, say, I just say Andhra Pradesh. In the Andhra Pradesh, I say Hyderabad. The Hyderabad city of the Andhra Pradesh, here we do not have the Telangana because this software was prepared before to that one. Here it says Hyderabad, Hyderabad, Duck 78 degrees 28 minutes of the eastern longitude. 17 degrees 22 minutes of the northern longitude is the Hyderabad. When we select and say OK, there will be chart calculation 
and it appears with a chart. Here you have lots of the calculations observed. The birth chart or the Lagna Kundali, D9 is the Navamsa Kundali or the Vargas, which we are going to calculate as the Janma Kundali, Hora, Drakana, like that. Here you see the Bhava chart, which is going to be calculated here. Do you see any difference between this particular birth chart and here the Bhava chart? See here the Ketu and Lagna, ascendant AS is the Lagna. Ketu and Lagna are in the same Vrushchika Rasi. And here in the Bhava chart, the Ketu was moved into the second place, second Bhava. Even though he is in the Rasi of the Vrushchika, in the Bhava chart, he got moved and thereby results are going to be deferred. As you see, there are different options to say to convert this into a North Indian chart of the diamond chart. We calculate to and we read these charts in many of the formats. Common format are the South Indian square chart and the North Indian diamond chart. In this, here you see the eight represents the Urushchika. Here the position of the, here I just want to make this uh, chart also of the Janma Kundali so that you can just see the same replication in the South Indian and North Indian charts. Here the Lagna is here. In this, it starts from here, the Mesha, Rishabha, Viduna, Tarkada, Pingha, Tanya, Tula, Rushchika, Dhanu, Makara, Kumbha, and Meena. 1 to 12 are going to be there. These 1 to 12 are represented in the diamond chart as numbers. You just see where is the 1? One? 1 is here. It is the sixth placement from the Lagna. Here, this is anti clockwise 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Here, this is a clockwise. The clockwise and anti-clockwise reading is also a pattern in a different provinces which we observe. So here, this Rasi charts which we are going to see are going to be represented here with that of the star positions here as such. As you see here, first Lagna is set in the Vrushchika Rasi Scorpio. Anuradha nakshatra, Trutiya Pada, where the Seni is the star lord. And here you get the sub sub lots of the KP system astrology. The different calculations are going to be here and the positions of the individual planets, as whether it is adolescency, infancy, youth, old, is Vruddhavasta like that. Yuvavasta. If the planet is in the Yuvavasta, it is going to give good effect and otherwise it is going to give the world or the Vruddhavasta, Graha Guru, he is not capable of giving any specified effect, effects are going to be said. Here you can see the Shadbala and here you see the KP significators and the KP charts and Ashtakavarga is the one more thing and Vimshotri Dasha. Here in this Dasha, 30th April 23, here you just see, you get the Ketu Dasha, Rahu Antar Dasha, Guru, Vidisha at the three level and you can go four level, five level also. These are the things which you are going to see the calculated in different way with the different chart. There are many more things to do. This is the way how we are going to make the chart in Kundali. And I just want to show you one more format are the Jagannatha Hora software. Here this Jagannatha Hora software is also can be easily patronized. It takes automatically the present day. And if at all we want to change we can just say, you can edit, edit the birth data. And here, you can just go with the Gregorian date, 
I just want to go the same October, 3rd October of the 2020, 2020, and the time is 10, 10 a.m. or p.m. Here you can show and you can say even give the 24 hours pattern. This is the advantage of this problem. Here the city name has to be chosen. Hyderabad, whether it is in the rest of the USA or USA, rest of the USA, here you select the India and in the rest of the world, India, when you say here, you get the you can just see rest of the world, Hyderabad, India, 78, 28, 17, 23, a small variation in the software is being seen. This gives same Lagra, Vruchika, Anuradha, Tritiya Pada is going to be seen or observed here. Here you see the Rasi chart and here you see the D9. D9 represents the Navamsa chart. Lagra is the Vruchika. From here you may be seeing here AS, AD, A4, A5 and etc. These things are going to be shown with the Jaimini astrology also. Here it represents the houses and our Amsa rulers and the KP astrology, strengths, dashas, transits, and the Tajaka method, Siddhi Praveshas, and chakras of the different and the mixed Varga chakras, Tara Chakra Dasha, Sarato Bhatra Chakra Dasha, Kota Chakra Dasha. And many more it is going to show in this particular software. Now the usage of the software, whichever we are going to use, we have to ultimately go with very specifically and a comfortable one. We have to observe here the many softwares. As I see, these softwares are going to be based upon the calculation. Especially these calculation variations are going to be get observed because of the ion amsha. Here when you see these charts, you can just see in the Parashara Hora many of the classical references and reports and horoscopes and etc. And when you say, here when you are going to see the different things, you have the options also in this particular area. The options when you are going to see, these options are going to be of the chart style and display options and many more things are also going to come. In this chart, you see the Upagrahas, the Gulika, Pranapada and etc. and external or otherwise Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, which were not told in Ayurveda. And display methodology also, you can make font selection, color coding, nature of the pen, and the calculation. Here, you see the Ayanamsa. There are many Ayanamsas are involved, especially Lahari Ayanamsa, Yukshtesar Ayanamsa, Raman, Basin, Sagan, Krishnamurti, and etc. Commonly, the Lahari Ayanamsa is followed, and Krishnamurti Ayanamsa is being followed by the Krishnamurti Padhati calculations. When you are going to calculate, you may ask, what is the difference? Here, if I am going to say the ayanamsa, when you are going to make zero, none. None means the sayana ayanamsa. Just now we have calculated this chart, 3rd October 1960, when I say this sayana, the lagna previously, which was of the rustika, was went into the Dhanu, the degree is 5 degree, 43 minutes, 54 seconds is seen here as into the next Rasi. That means approximately 23 degrees plus are going to be observed here. The 23 degrees plus which are being observed here, you can just see the Lahari Ayanamsa. When we say the Lahari Ayanamsa, then it came as the Rushchika Rasi 11 degrees. You just see the 23 degrees and few of the minutes is going to be. Every year, 
50 seconds is going to be get progress. See, the, we are thinking our the North Pole and South Pole are fixed. The magnetic poles and the actual poles are different at present. The pole is shifting every year 50 seconds. One day, the north which we are thinking is going to become east and whatever we are thinking as a south pole is going to become the west. And from the pole to pole, the equator is going to be there. This is the way Maha Yugas and the Yugas are going to appear. You can calculate 50 seconds if it is going to be for one year, how much time it takes to cross the or to make the 90 degrees. In Ayurveda, we are going to speak about the auspiciousness of the Pushkrimi Nakshatra. When the Ayurveda was recorded as a textbook and for the purpose of the welfare of the humankind and as a book of the medicine, at that time, the Pushkrimi Nakshatra was the first starting point of the year. The Dhruvaka or the pole were at the Pushyami nakshatra, which is shifted towards the Aswini nakshatra as on today. If you are going to see in, in further in future, it shifts into the Revati nakshatra. One nakshatra to cross approximately 2000 years it is going to take. If you say the count of the Pushyami nakshatra from the starting from the Ashwini as on today. Ashwini Nakshatra, we are at the middle. That means approximately 1000 years we have completed. I count from the Bharani, Kritika, Rohini, Mrugasira, Ardra, Punarvasu, Pushan. The seven star. Seven into 2000 years is 14,000 and 1000 in the Ashwini. 15,000 years back, the first recording of our Ayurveda has been done. This Ashwini from after 1000 years from the Ashwini, the pole, the Dhruvaka is going to shift to the Revati Nakshatra into the Meenarati also. So as such here, we are going to calculate the things. The different way, a scientifically how this erection or the chart is going to be drawn for a particular Abhishtakala or the birth time is understood right now. In this chapter, it is being stated the Aprakasha Graha. The Aprakasha Grahas are the Rupa Grahas. As just now I have shown in the options, we have the different Rupa Grahas in the Gulika, Pranapada, Dhuma, Vetipata, Parivesha, Chapa, Upaketu. These are the Rupa Grahas attained through the calculations. Say we are going to stay, take the Ravi sun position as the primary. For the sun position, by adding 4 degrees 13 minutes 20 seconds, Dhuma Graha is going to come. Here, I would like to click all the things for making understanding. And I just say, okay, you can just see here the different planets which are going to be here the Mars, Chandra, and Pravesha and Vitipata, Chapa, you can just see all this. Upaketu with UK. GK is a Gulika. Gulika is otherwise called as a Mandi. When you are calculating 4 degrees 13 minutes 20 seconds to that of the sun position, you are going to get the Dhuma. You just see here it is the sun position, and here you get the Parvesha and Veti Pata. And here is the Dhuma. DH is for the Dhuma. By calculating four sections, 13 degrees, 20 minutes, here this particular area is the Mahadosha is going to be. From the Lagna to Trutiya area is, third area is Bhatrustana, along with the Shedi is their Dhuma, whereby it is a Mahadosha. For this position, if you are going to deduct 360 degrees, minus 360 degrees is going to be the Vyatipata. The Vyatipata is here. The Vyatipata is also Sarva Karma Nasham, is the position related Palitam or the effect. From the Lagna 
the eighth place is presented, presented by the Vetipata, whereby this Ashtama area or the eighth bhava is Ayu bhava. Ayu bhava for this particular person is going to be problematic. Karmanasha is going to be observed. For this, if you are going to add 180 degrees, you get the Parivesha in the opposite. The Parivesha is going to be bad and asupa. And further, minus 360 degrees is going to be the Indra Chapa. You can just get the Indra Chapa. Chapa is here in the Karkat Rati, ninth Rati. It is not good for the father also. The Ketu Upaketu is adding the 16 minutes 40 seconds is going to be once again Asupa. That means 10th place is also Asupa. If you are going to add 30 degrees for the Upaketu, you get this number. This is the pattern of the calculation which you are going to see. When you are going to see if these particular planets are going to be with Lagna, Ravi, Chandra, very specifically the effect is being made out. Here, along with the Ravi, no Upa Grahas. Along with the Lagna, no Upa Grahas. Along with the Chandra, no Upa Grahas. That means this person is being saved from the Vamsanasa. If there is Along with the Ravi, there is a Vamsha Nasha. If it is along with the Chandra, the Ayur Nasha, or he is going to die. And in the Lagna, if these particular planets are going to be there, and it is, he is going to be Jnana Nasha. The interpretation here with this, we have to make out. A case of uh, autism, we have to see in case of the autism, this Upagrahas, if they are with the Lagna, in case of the autism, if these planets of the Upagrahas are in the Lagna, then there will be a Jnana Nasha. Now, let me show you an example chart to go with the autism patient. Here, I just want to show you a particular chart of the autism. And uh, this Birth is of the 11th March 2012. And when you are going to see this one, you can just see, I, I just put uh, this chart only in the South Indian model to make comfortable. Here you see the Lagna. The Lagna is the Vidhuna Rati. Parivesha is there in the Lagna. When this uh, Upagraha is with the Lagna, then the person is going to have the Jnana Nasha is being stated. See, the astrology is to be observed with the evidences. Then only we are going to accept this particular thing. Otherwise, we are not ready. The Gulika and Mandi. We were speaking about the GK. GK, you can just see the Gulika. Where is the Gulika? You can just see he is here along with the Retrograded. R stands for the retrograded Vakrata. Here the Mars or the Puja is Vakra in the third place and added with the or associated with the Gulika. Here the position of the Gulika is to be seen and the starting position is said as the Gulika. Sorry, ending position is said, ending position of the skinny portion is said as the Gulika and starting portion is said as the Mandi. Mandi and Gulika both are one and the same is to be said. Now the Shani Bhaga to calculate, the calculation methods are there and thereby the calculations are going to be observed in the software. Almost uh, when we are going to see this uh, Gulika Kala or the Mandi Kala, they are being calculated based upon the Vara. And uh, Varadhipati onwards, it is being calculated in the Seni Bhaga in the day. And in the Seni Bhaga, the starting point is the Mandi, ending point is the Gulika, is being observed. So that almost for the Monday to Sunday, the all the days which we see, the Gulika and Mandi timings are more or less the same. Here, now I come for the other area. A, of the aspects which are being said in the 
this particular fourth chapter while calculate while making a calculations in this pranapada is the one term which has been used it is calculated for the understanding the auspiciousness in the harvest term. the bhava calculations when we are speaking about this bhava as i said this bhava calculations are to be calculated from the udaya lagna or the janma kaliyana lagna when this janma kaliyana lagna we are calculating there are different methods are available most of the people think that particular point of the janma lagna is the midpoint of the bhava they calculate 15 degrees before and 15 degrees after as a total 30 degrees of the area is the first bhava or the tanu bhava are reflecting the body and from there onwards it is 30 30 degrees is being divided into the second method is going to be the calculation of the Janma Lagna is a point which has been started. When it is being started, from there 30 degrees you take it. And why you take the 15 degrees behind the Bhava, as considering the Bhava? This is very apt, I feel so. Because when we are calculating as a point of starting, from the point of starting, the 30 degrees forwarding is supposed to be the first Bhava. Here in this, 30 and 30 additions are going to be made for the 12 bhavas to precisely note. But there is another method also. There are Sri Pati Paddhati and other Paddhatis have been mentioned here. What they do is the Janma Lagna opposite 180 degrees is the seventh bhava. Okay. And from there, Lagna, we are going to calculate the tenth place. The tenth place calculation because the entire earth moving around the sun in an elliptical way where the angular segmentations are going to be different and sometimes they are shorter, sometimes they are longer. Based upon the same principle, we have to calculate the, even the bhavas is being stated. Calculating the lagna from lagna calculation of the 10th bhava, opposition of the 10th bhava is the fourth one, Opposition of the Lagna is the seventh Bhava. And in between, they are going to distribute equally. This is the another method which is going to be. But here, one thing we have to admit, what is the utility of these things? Bhava Phala is to be observed. Janma Lagna from onwards, we are predicting the sum of the, anticipating the effects of the horoscope. Bhava Lagna, for the whole body and whole life which we are calculating. From the Janma Lagna, very specifically, only for the body entity and body relation, physical properties are going to be calculated. From the Chandra Lagna, psychological attitudes are going to be get calculated. That means we need to go with the, the different calculations always all the time for the different points of the achievement. If suppose we are going to say and understanding this particular way, how this is going to happen, we need to study further all the chapters of the Parashara, then only we can draw a conclusion. There are some more other things which we come across is the Gochara. Here I would like to show you in the same chart of the Parashara, here we have some of the charts and reports could be generated here. The ephemeris can be made out and also even the Varshaphala. Varshaphala is based upon the Tajaka, which is going to be, and the transits are the Gochara for the present day, respective to that of the individual, how the planetary positioning is there. These two are also going to be very good impact you to give a final dictum of the prediction. One thing which we are going to see follow is the Janma Lagna, Chandra Lagna, 
Vimshotri Dasha and positions of the planet and the Gochara and the Varshapala Tajaka. Each and every person, the astrologer or for the prediction, he predicts in a different way, however he is being learned and however he is using the different software. Here I would like to show you the trans transitions of the Gochara. Here the inner wheel is the, I uh, just to withdraw the options of the um, other planets so that it is going to become clumsy. Here you can just see only the Navagrahas and the Mandi. As this, the inner is the birth chart and outer is the present day moving. Here you can just see, you can progress. This is the birth chart detail and here is the details of the present day. We can progress for every hour or every Navamsha, every Lagna and every day. This day here you can just see 29th July. I want to go one day forward. 30th July you see the changing and you can see the next day 31st. And if you want to go for one week forwarding, this is Tuesday 8th August and 15th August. And here you can progress for this one month, 30 days. You can progress even one year so that you can just calculate the things, however, it is going to be related with. And you can predict accordingly. This is more of the mathematical and combinations and permutations. So, here I would like to stop today's fourth chapter. And next week, we'll go for the fifth chapter. Before to that, I just want to have a, another small request which has come out here. There is a Kundali which is being uh, said uh, to be either male or female, not described here. In the chart box, I just see, wants to say 14th May 19, 18, 1987. Here, I would like to start a new chart. You can just see here, uh, this is a bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder. And can you write it's a male or female? 14th May, 1987. This is 14th May, 1987. And the timing is 10, 18. And the place of the birth is India, Uttarakhand. Okay, this is the old one. I just say India general, and here I say Dehradun. Dehradun. You can just see Dehradun. Uttaranchal, okay. It is in Uttaranchal, Dehradun. There is a male or female? Male, yes. So, this is a male chart who born on 14th May 1987 with the bipolar disorder. We are doing a, an analysis of this particular horoscope. Okay. Now, here you can just see the person. The Lagna is associated with the Gudika out of the Upagrahas, which is there with. I just want to see in the options of the display, were there any other Upagrahas are there in this are associated with. Here you just see only the Gudika Mandi is with the Lagna where these Upagrahas are going to be in the Lagna associated, there will be a Jnana Natya is the indication. If it is with the Chandra, Chandra and Shani are there. Here, no other planets are going to be seen are the Upagrahas. Thereby, if the Chandras, along with the Chandra, if it is going to be there, it is Ayunasha. That means the person who have died, if it is along with the Chandra. If the person is still alive probably and no problem. And if it is with that of the Ravi, third option, you just see where the sun is. 
Surya, Surya is in the Surya is in the Mesharati here along with the Sukra and Parvesha. Parvesha, when it is going to be there with, when it is going to be there with, here there is a Vamsanasha. Here the Gulika with the Lagna is the Jnananasha and with the Surya, a Upagraha Parvesha, Parvesha is going to be with the Vamsanasha. There will be no offspring and there will be no further development of the things. For one more thing which I just want to see or observe here. Most of the time, the reflection of the parental horoscope with the, such sort of the disorders also to be understood. If the parental horoscope is linked with that of the Rahu and Ketu in the Panchamasthana associated with the Guru and Puja. If the parents are going to have Panchamasthana, fifth place, Rahu posited with the Guru and Kuja, then the people are going to get a genetically challenged or mentally perverted children which are going to be get developed or born. So we have to understand this and we have to make out how better could make this particular understanding as such. Okay. Hope you have made out the And if at all you have any questions, please ask your doubt so that I try to answer the questions. Panchama Shani, Shani with Rahu. Father and mother both because these things are to be studied in the Parashara as the Shapa. Any genetical disorder which we are going to study, they are going to be studied as the Shapa in the Parashara. There will be Pitru Shapa, Matru Shapa, Bhatru Shapa, Matru Shapa, there are many Shapas. Commonly which we observe, the parental horoscopes reflect a child birth with reference to that of the issues related to that of the genetical disorders and also other disease aspects. If you have any questions, quickly I would like to answer it. Otherwise, I wish to stop here for the day and next Saturday once again we'll see with the next chapter. Thank you.